hello guys welcome back to my channel so on today's video we're making cartridge pepper soup let me tell you guys this is the easiest way to make your cartridge pepper soup first you have to start by washing your fish as you can see i've already washed my fish then you cut the fish according to the size that you want them to be so that it will contain the pots then guys please if you're washing your fish you have to wash them thoroughly mine i use warmed water and alum to wash it but some other people prefer to use other things to wash but the one that i use in washing this fish i use alum i could not vlog that because my phone went off so when you are done cutting the fish you put them in a bowl and we wash them again time to blend guys so in this blender i have my ginger garlic pepper and onions so i will blend them together so right now i'll put my pot on the fire with little water then i'll be adding my fish to the pot After adding my fish to the pot, I'll add my pepper mix. I'll be adding my salt for taste. So I'll be adding dry pepper to it. You know what they call it, pepper soup. So it has to be spicy. Then after that, I'll be adding my seasoning cube. After that, I will stir it together so that the ingredients will mix properly. So right now, I'll be adding a little bit of water to it so that it will have a lot of water to boil. Then I'll cover it for it to cook. So guys, as you can see, our press soup have started boiling. So I will stir them together to ensure that it is properly mixed. Then I'll be adding our main ingredient, which is the pepper soup spices. Then when I add it, I'll stir them together again, then cover it for it to boil well. So guys, our pepper soup is well boiled and ready. So I'll stir them together. Then I'll be adding my vegetable. Yes, the reason why you should add the vegetable last because you don't want it to overcook, okay? So in this pepper soup, I'll be using otter as a leaf. But you can use any leaf of your choice. Some use punky leaf, some use scent leaf. But I'll be using otter as a leaf because I love the extra flavor it adds to the pepper soup. So I'll add it and stay together and allow it to boil like two minutes. So right now our pepper soup is fully ready. You can see how delicious and yummy this pepper soup is looking. So I will stir them together. Our pepper soup is ready. So guys, you can combine this pepper soup with any solid of your choice. You can eat it with rice, yam, swallow of any kind. And you can also use it as an appetizer, okay? thank you guys for watching if this video has been so helpful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel like share and also comment okay i'll see you guys on my next video bye